Okay, so just uh, wanted you to see, this is um, some advice on how to finish this one. It's called equation practice with angle addition. So you're going to be adding together angles. Okay, if you click this link, it's going to take you to here, equation practice with angle addition. And you need to practice this, and I want you to practice it several times. It might let you be done in just five times. And make sure you really know it, because I'm going to quiz you on it later. So what you have here is you have... You know, the given, this information is given to us, and then right here it says what you have to find. We're going to use the given information and what we understand about angles to write an equation. So the first thing we have to understand what these, this says. This says the measure of angle AOC, which is this big angle here. So the measure of this big angle here is 104 degrees. Now it's broken into its parts. AOB is this part. BOC is that part. So we're going to add it all together. So you're going to write an equation. Now it's going to look like this. It's going to go, let's see if I can draw with this. I don't know if I can draw it. Let's try this. Okay, so you can write 7x, right, plus 30. Ooh, it's ugly, but I'm doing it. So hang in there. Plus, we're going to add in the 9x plus 42, 9x plus 42. Now, I've had kids say, oh, this is equal to 180, or it's equal to 90. You know what? This is equal to exactly what it said it was equal right here. It was equal to 104. You have to look at these problems and read what they're saying exactly. The next step for you is to combine the like terms. That means you're going to add together. A different color here a little bit. Let's add together these x's over here. If you do that, you're going to get 16 x's, right? And then you're going to add together the constant numbers over here, the 30 and the 42 add together, and they add up to 72, right? So on this side of the equation, you're adding 16 x's to 72. And you're saying that that's equal to 104, right? Well, if I have to add 72 to 16x's to get to 140, to get to 104, take away 72 so I can find out what 16x's is by themselves, right? So I subtract 16x from both sides. After I do that, I find the 16x's are all alone now on this side. And over here, I've got, all right, add 72, take away 72. That just goes away. Over here, 104 minus 72 is equal to 32. Now I want to solve for x, so I'm going to divide by 16. Do that to both sides, and I get x equals 2. Now that doesn't, I'm not done. I've just figured out what x is. But what the question is asking me is, what is the measure of BOC? BOC was given as 9 times x plus 42 degrees. So I have to take 9 times x, and x is 2. So 9 times, I'm going to write times 2 right here, right? That's 18 plus 42, which is going to make this 60 degrees, and that's going to be my answer. 18 plus 42, and you can use your calculator to help you out with all this stuff, with the division, subtraction, whatever, you can use that. And we can see here that the answer is um, uh, 60. So this is going to be 60, and just put it in down there, and get your answer checked. Make sure the next one you see it. Very similar. They're giving you, again, the, the size of the whole thing. Read carefully what it says. But this QPS is the big angle here. And then RPS would just be this part of it, right? And QPR would be that part of it, okay? So you're going to add this part together with this part to find out the measure of the whole thing. Now they want you Actually, they want you to find out just the measure of the small part. But you're going to solve for X. And after you solve for X, then you can... Plug it in and find out what QPR is once you plug in a number for X there. Okay, so go ahead and get this assignment done. And, uh, and I'll get showing you the next one.